hello everyone welcome back and uh, this is Naveen from UI brains uh, if you are new to this channel and please do subscribe and uh, show your support and uh, so last example we have seen how to send a post request so we have sent uh, some form data and same form data has been responded back from server right so let's make some slight uh, kind of login functionality not complete login functionality just a mimic if you some username password match you will send success response there is failure response that type of story okay so for this sorry uh, for this what i do is let me stop the server uh, i actually want the same kind of setup the same setup i wanted so can i do one thing mm, i'll just copy the same same folder okay i'll just paste it again i change to 08 and this will be something post login functionality post request with login functionality okay okay done so now here first switching is let me start the server right click open terminal uh, on my login npm start it will start the server so server is starting yep started fine now uh, the very first thing is my content type i'll change to sorry my content type i'll change to text slash html because i'm gonna send uh, some html response back okay and moreover below this uh, same user okay or you can just say uh, login you take request url slash login okay and uh, here you receive the request body everything yeah here you supposed to write a logic okay so in the body yeah, here i write a logic if if form data dot uh, name is is equal to rajan generally you have to get this rajan from database but we don't have database set up as i am just hard coding it rajan so name is rajan and form data dot password is is equal to uh, in future we also you know encrypt the password and all but again same story we are not learned that level uh, so rajan at one two three okay so i hard code name is rajan and password is rajan at one two three what you have to do so i will respond for this i'll respond uh, not just pre tag i say some h3 and uh, let me give some styles as well for example this one style uh, font family green color is there now same thing i'll add here so style font family lato sans serif and color green color and i'll say login is success okay like this login is success okay and if if not match so i respond with i respond with respond with uh, some red color message or dark red i say invalid and also please remember this is not the actual in real time standard login functionality we, we see that functionalities in down the line uh, for coming examples but this is just a mimic okay and don't use the same same logic for real time never use it because uh, for real time story is different uh, that story we'll see when we start with express.js there is a separate uh, uh, class we're going to discuss uh, there we'll see uh, how to make the proper login functionality okay it's a very near future after uh, node will start express only so there we'll see how to make authorization token generation password encryption everything we'll see okay it is just a mimic okay, just to understand how node will receive a form data okay so we write a logic form data dot name is equal to rajan and password is rajan at one two three then only it will send uh, login success otherwise invalid credentials okay so let's say which and my server is up and running let me send so how you send login post so go back here 
post request and the path is login login and what are the parameters is looking for name see form data dot name so name what's the value rajan yes rajan and password is this one uh, value is rajan at one two three yes same story so exactly same thing which my application is looking for i written so when i click on send what you get yes super login is success that's what my response right yeah okay if you provide some wrong name or wrong password obviously you get something called uh, rajan 456 it is wrong not match so you get invalid credentials that's how okay if you give exactly the same username and password then only you get login success okay that's how you can uh, that's the mimic of uh, login functionality but actual login functionality is different okay so that's it about uh, post method and routing of node.js and that to end of node.js and don't worry uh, if i say end of node.js is not just complete uh, tutorial ends uh, the platform we use node.js only but in the coming next video we'll start with express.js okay because express.js is a one third party module of node.js and which will does whatever node.js does everything can be done with express.js in a easy way and better manner you know express means faster you can develop the backend technology in a faster way generally when you go to any company uh, there they will write uh, if they write backend technology with node it's not actually node it is express.js okay and when you see the source code also it will be express.js code uh, but why they say it is node is uh, express.js is just a third party module okay but obviously it runs on a node platform only so server platform is node only but thing is we can write in express for example uh, if you want to even get the clarity um, you have css right and you have bootstrap so css is the core technology bootstrap is a library of it so people will make a website using plain css or bootstrap uh, it doesn't mean that you are using bootstrap is not mean that you are not using css using bootstrap is internally using css only na? same story and uh, even for javascript and jquery also jquery is a library of javascript if you are using jquery means internally it using javascript only correct same story here node.js library is express so if you are using express is internally using node.js only okay but it is some sort some kind of a layer uh, which makes you a uh, lot of functions available for you instead of making this type of conditions like uh, url is equal to something method equal to something instead they have given some functions like app.post app.get app.delete put like a lot of easy thing uh, why why we shifted from css to bootstrap because bootstrap is a bit easy for making a website and a bit faster way to develop a website same story here also back end if you are using express.js this is slight a long story in this way if you handle the form data it will take some years to make a program but if you are using express.js everything ground level things is done automatically only thing you have to use express it will make your web development faster that's called express faster okay so let's start express.js in the next video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and show your support thank you